Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we will take a look at another spaceship looking tattoo machine by company Inclo. This one is called Inclo Challenger and this is a new version. I looked at this machine before, this was a bit heftier version and now they have a new one. And now you can choose 3.5 or 4 millimeter stroke. And I will do my usual ups, downs and who is this machine for. And I will say it's mostly positive here. There are a few changes that have happened from first version. They're not big changes, but they're very positive changes. And my favorite of them would be this removable front element, the tip. And this one you can easily clean, throw it in autoclave, sanitize it, do whatever you do, how you clean and sanitize your grips. And then you clip it back on. There's a little dot that should face up. That's where the cartridge positioning, sort of how it, where the cartridge is aligned. So you know if that's on the top, then cartridge will clip in and be as it should be. Now on this one there's smaller motor now and it's as powerful, which is nice, it gets less in a way. Same like in previous version, there's a quick charge, it should charge up and you can work with that charge for four hours. If you feel like it's not going to be enough during some break, throw it on a charger. Charger is at the back there, that's a USB-C charger. And then there's a screen, power button, it's on and off button, up and down voltage, so it goes this way down and up buttons and at the end there is this wheel which you move around and it changes length of the needle how much the needle is hanging out and it's kind of all here basically you can work with it one-handedly buttons on off up down and you can adjust needle length up here and also there's a kickstarter which is pretty neat you press voltage up and down buttons together and a little lightning bolt appears and that means that the kickstart is activated and you can hear it when it starts to run. It gives that extra buzz. That helps to move tighter cartridges. I'm not a big fan of buttons at the fingertips, especially the power button. That's the one that you have to get used to most, not to switch it off by accident when you're tattooing. Still spend some time with it and it's all good. And also I figured out a little hack. If it gets in the way, the way you grip it, you can easily adjust this part. Let's grab a cartridge. It's one of the enclosed cartridges, the round magnum medium softness. Now we know that there are softnesses of cartridge needles. So this would be the standard position. That's where the dot is facing up. So you clip it in and this would be the orientation of a cartridge when you hold it. And I, what I found that if the button gets in the way, if I accidentally switch it off when tattooing, I can just change this part, so this is my little hack. Undo the grip, boom, and you can put it on a different position. Let's say sideways, and now cartridge needle would be sideways. And maybe that's more comfortable to hold for you not to press on buttons, and you just work sideways. And motor is relatively small, so it's not getting in the way. There's no, like, a big change of the way weight is distributed. Or maybe it would work other way around. Undo the grip and put it on a other clipping there are like three of those sockets or i don't know how to call them which way it can sit clip it in put a cartridge boom now cartridge is facing this way and maybe that's more comfortable for you or clip the cartridge other way around it's kind of on a 45 angle degrees where the buttons are and i found that that for me it sits in the hand better because i usually with the with this finger would press on the on off button and switch it off by accident this way it's kind of more it's more handy, more comfortable for me. This trick with changing position of this tip helped me to get my fingers out of the way. And as I, as I mentioned already, this is removable. You can sanitize it, throw it on an autoclave, which is all good news. In comparison to the previous version, you had to unscrew it. This is easy clip in, clip out type of a situation. On hygiene aspect, it's the same like with previous machine. You can only wrap it and there's a small big change with removable tip. So for many people, it will not be machine for them. They will not like it. They will always yell about hygiene until for one or another reason, they will need this machine. For rest of a crowd who's more used to working with pen type machines, once you figure out how to wrap it, this works just fine. And at that point, I don't see the difference if buttons and screens are up there or down there once it's packed wrapped it's all good 
And if you are one of them people who only put a bit of grip tape and work without packing this machine, then this is perfect for you. I'm not saying it's a great idea, but I know that there are those people out there. Once you figure out how to wrap it, this works just fine. One thing that you have to keep in mind when wrapping it, you still want to be able to see the screen. So you have to figure out ways there are some tricks how to wrap it so the screen is still available. Or you can actually just work by the feel. One way or another, you will figure it out. I usually wrap it in plastic and then I would put a bit of grip tape and then I would leave a small gap so I can somewhat see what's going on on the screen and it still would be all nice and grippy and you can feel the buttons through the grip tape. On actual working with it, it feels very nice in the hand once you figure out how to wrap it, get used to buttons. It's really nice to work with, it's nice and sort of tip heavy and when you work with it for comparison it feels kind of like a bishop packer wand but with a bit heavier tip which is nice it's kind of like if you put those super chunky disposable tips on a bishop wand and this one is like that from get go and if you think I got this machine sent to me that's why I'm saying nice things I also gave it to try to Carlos and Carlos is more like pen style machine skeptic and he loved working with it obviously I had to pack it for him he both liked new version and he liked the previous version as well he tried both of them and he he was kind of a fan of them. He was kind of joking that he doesn't want to touch his old machine anymore. He was using some direct drive rotary tattoo machine. And for the downsides the obvious is the hygiene and for many this would be a strong no-no. For others once you figure out how to wrap it it works pretty chill. Other downside would be the battery life so it's four hours of work. For me that's more than enough and a quick charge sort of fixes it so if you feel like you're running out of juice Take a break, plug it in for 5-10 minutes and it will be already like kind of significantly charged up. In my opinion quick charge fixes the battery life which is around 4 hours. Another kind of a downside would be a lot of moving parts and a lot of exposed moving parts. In that regard maybe something can get in there or it's just more parts, more things to break. If you compare it to pen style machines, look at coils, a lot of moving parts, a lot of exposed moving parts. And if you are one of them who yells about hygiene on this type of machines but don't even bag their coil machines, maybe that's something to think about or just to keep in mind. And there's a little bit of vibration, Not, nothing crazy, but you feel it in comparison to other pen style machines. And this company have also that super quiet, super low vibration machine, which is called Dagger. This one is a bit on wild side, that one is more like a regular, you can say now traditional pen style machine. Now who is this machine for? Obviously for anyone who is interested in it and I would say this is kind of like a niche product. Maybe it's for someone who prefers to work with one hand, be it personal preference or maybe some health reasons. It's pretty comfortable to work once you figure out how to wrap it. It's all easy to access. You can change needle length, power, voltage up and down, kickstart and already the fact that it has a kickstart is already something. If I would have to recommend one of Inclo machines then probably for obvious reasons reasons which is like more standard more regular way to work I would recommend a dagger take a dagger couple of batteries and you're good to go and you can work off batteries or you can plug it in and work with the cable if that's your preference I think it's more like a niche product is for like personal preference for somebody and at the same time if any of the positives that I mentioned of this machine seems appealing to you then this might be machine for you it's something to think about it's something to check out it's pretty neat product it's easy to work with it's very ergonomic it's a great machine to work with cartridge needles myself personally and carlos tried it for like coloring in and do more like traditional looking stuff and if you don't trust my word take a look at Carlos's Instagram you can see what he can do this is a tip heavy obviously on dagger you can also put that crazy big grip which is an option but this is tip heavy from get-go so I think it's pretty cool it's marketed as kind of all-rounder machine but as you may know by now I'm not a big fan of lining with cartridges I only line with cartridges when I feel brave enough and I feel like stars have aligned the proper way. For myself, for anything else but lining, you can also do some lines with it if you feel like it. This worked just fine, I figured out how to wrap it and it's all accessible here, all the buttons, needle length, tip heavy, very comfortable and ergonomic tattoo machine. It works great, as for hygiene topic, it's up to any individual to decide is it good enough for them. 
and by the book, by the regulations in Denmark, this would count just fine when you wrap it and do your regular sanitizing or autoclaving or whatever you do afterwards. In Denmark, if you can pack it and then unpack it and sanitize it, it's fine by the regulations that we have here now. I wish in our bright future brands like these would have stands on tattoo conventions where you can go and actually check the product, touch it, see how it feels in the hand, see what it can do. And in my experience, like I've seen a lot of products where I see them advertised and I'm like, yeah, right. Once I get to try them, I'm very impressed. I mean, they're not perfect, but they are way more than I did expect. And plus these companies progress like crazy. So they had one machine and five minutes later, they already have next version. Yeah, it would be cool if you could go to some tattoo convention and just have a look, have a feel, play around with these tattoo machines. And that maybe would change your mind one way or another. Oh, and this brand have some crazy cartridge groupings. They sent me here. There's some wild stuff, which I don't think I will practically use or regularly use, but I hope I will have a chance to try. We have here 88 round shaders. And these are the skinny, I think these are the, the bug pin thickness needles. Then that was 88, that's 111, which is pretty crazy. And the ones that I loved, I tried three by threes these weird looking things and i love those they, these are 1203 so these are thicker needles also tried 0803 four times the three needles i wasn't fan of those because they are so tiny it felt and looked kind of like a weird magnum kind of like those flat ones and that one i didn't like as much but these 1203s and all that weird configurations those were really great and then they have these crazy magnums we have 35 and 49 magnum i want to try those out so if you are someone who's relatively local and wants to do some blackout stuff just fill out some bigger area with black or do some armband type of things let me know i'll give you a sweet deal i want to try these bad boys out and i hope my machines can handle it so if you're relatively local and want to black out some parts of your tattoo, preferably bigger areas, then get in touch with me. I'll give you a sweet deal. I'm very excited that brands like these work on new products, work on innovations, make some new cartridge groupings, make these big needles that are not that easy to get, make these crazy tattoo machines, make these crazy grips that there will be a review anytime soon. That's really cool that progress is happening and brands are innovating and it also makes more steady bigger brands maybe don't feel so comfortable in their position because there's more and more stuff coming in, more and more stuff gets innovated and more and more stuff gets inspired from company to company and we will see where that will take us meanwhile check out other products from this brand in a playlist here and do your usual if you have any thoughts leave that in the comment section if you want to be awesome press like and if you want to be super awesome then share this video and i will see you in future episodes thanks for watching bye